What's up, everybody? Welcome back to T Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday. For those who don't know what Fan Friday is, that's where I post on the Facebook page saying, "Hey guys, leave your deck deck suggestions down below, and the deck with the most suggestions, or most likes, will win." And today, the deck that won was actually a Team Fish Knuckles deck. That's what he called it. It was suggested by Jared. Fast, I guess how you say his last name. I apologize if I say your name wrong. But man, I am so excited today. It did have the most votes. And we're going to see can our mascot, mascot Quillfish, Quillfish win a game? Or Quillfish, Quillfish, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, man. I'm so excited right now, guys. Can you tell? Can you tell? I'm so excited for this. But guys, before we start the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm so excited to produce this video. And let's see what's it about. Can our mascot take a game or not? So let's see what all Quillfish is about. So Quillfish has 80 HP. Not a lot at all. He is very, very light. All right, but he has the ability to counterattack quills. And this Pokemon is your act Pokemon. And his damage by an opponent's attack. Put two, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon, all right? And then poison thing for 20. Your opponent's act Pokemon is now poison. So basically, you know, Quillfish is not very, he's not very good of a card. Uh, counterattack quills for sure, two damage counters, that's nothing. And poison thing for 20 and poison. Whatever. That's not very strong. But there's some ways to help us out in this, with this deck. So we have Burst Balloon. Of course, we've seen Burst Balloon a lot. And this Pokemon's attack, uh, you attach to this Pokemon, and if it's hit, they take 60 damage. So now they're taking a, an additional 80 damage from that Quillfish, because, you know, Burst Balloon and the Counter-Attack Quills. Oh, so now we're doing 80. Okay. All right. So, and then a Vermix to the Gym can add two more damage counters uh, in between turns instead of just the one. So basically it does three instead of the two, all right, or instead of the one. So now we can use uh, Poison Thing for 20, plus 30 for 50, and they hit us, they get popped for 80. Alright, so 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we can attack again for the knockout. And Quillfish can actually two-shot our opponent's Pokemon, and I'm so excited. And if they don't no if they don't knock us out, we can do it again. And I'm so excited to see if this deck can work or not. Let's make sure we do the math right. Uh, 20, poison 50, plus another poison, 8. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 20, poison 50, plus another poison, 80, then plus... Burst Balloon, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 50, 60. And all right, so all we have to do next turn is just pass, and that Pokemon gets knocked out. So it doesn't get knocked out coming back into our turn. Like, that would be amazing. I don't think it does, if I did the math correctly. If I did the math wrong, I apologize. But, man, I'm so excited to play this deck. And we're gonna, I mean, we're going to learn to see if Squeaky can do math or not later on in this video. All right, so Quillfish is going to be a main attacker with Burst Balloon and Burbank City Gym. All right, guys, so we play one Mewtwo EX with the X-Ball. Does 20 damage, times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon and the defending Pokemon. This can help us out because, you know, Quillfish, not the best attacker, but Mewtwo, one of my favorite cards. Also, Verizian is one of my favorite cards as well. So, Verizian with Inverted Wind, if there's a Grass Energy attached to one of your Pokemon, it cannot be affected by a special condition, and Emerald Slash can do 50, and you may search deck for two Grass Energies and attach them to one of your bitch Pokemon. All right. A uh, 2 to Dragology, and Dragology says if your opponent's Poison Pokemon, if your opponent, if your your opponent's poison Pokemon can't retreat. So if you poison them, they can't retreat. They're stuck in the axe spot. Unless you play Switch, Escape Rope, AZ, Cassius, Pokemon Simulator, Keldeo, Zork. But whatever, we're not counting those. We're not worried about that. Dragology is going to be MVP. And he also, he played a 2-1 Shaman. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Guys, you know I am about Shaman. But Shaman, of course, was set up. We know what this card does. But the other Shaman with the Revenge Blast does 30 and this does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So once your opponent's taken five prize cards, you can do 180 damage with Shaman to pretty much knock out any EX in the game, which is amazing. And I'm so excited. Guys, if you don't know, Shaman EX was one of my favorite cards back in the day when uh when Hydrogen was a main attack, when Hydrogen was a deck, oh my goodness, I play this card so much. So I'm so excited to play the Shaman in this deck. And that's all the Pokemon in our deck. Alright, so play one Echo Arm to shuffle three tool cards from a discard pile back to your deck to get back those Bursty Balloons. Or Hypnotoxic Lasers. Now, this is just in case you do miss that Quillfish. And also, you can put him asleep. Like, if you miss it easy, you need a way to put him asleep, just in case. Uh, he did originally only have two. The lists are kind of different than what he suggested. I kind of made some changes to it. Um, but four lasers, I think that's better. And also, turn one, you can't attack. So, lasers to at least add some kind of verbing or kind of poison damage. Uh, two Love Ball, which can get you Quillfish and Skrelp. One special charge to shuffle two special energy cards from your discard pile back at your deck, which is your DCs, of course. Uh, one super rod to shuffle three combination of Pokemon energies back at your deck. Uh, two switch to help us out with the Verizian or anybody. I think it's mainly Dragology. No, everybody has a, uh, no. Mewtwo has two or three calls. Shaman has one, and Shaman has one as well. So everybody, but Mewtwo has a one or three calls. But it's cool to just like switch out and attack if out of nowhere, which is great as well. Four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker. Okay. 
So we play one light center, bring a Pokemon off the bench, three in, four junior bird, one teammates to search deck for any. If your Pokemon is knocked out during your opponent's turn, you get a bite attack. Wait, you, know, you only play this card if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn, not by attack. That's something different. Uh, if, you're, if one of your po Pokemon is knocked out, you can use teammates and you search deck for any two cards, put them in your hand, which is really great. Like I said earlier, Quillfish is really fragile because it only has 80 HP, so it can easily get knocked out, but then you can teammates for any two cards out of your deck, which is great. We play one Zerosic to discard a tool or special card to play from yours or your opponent's side of the field. Uh, and three Break City, we already been over this, four Burst Balloon, and one Life Dew. So not only do we have Burst Balloon, we have Life Dew as well, which is our ace pick of choice, which can make it where your opponent takes one less prize card. So basically, if they knock out a Quillfish, they take zero prize cards, which is amazing. And you can use uh, the uh, Echo Arm to get it back into your deck. Or DEC because Quillfish does need two for the poisoning and six grass to help activate that version. If you are playing against a deck that does play laser, which sometimes dark uh, dark decks are basically your weakness because even it's all with the muscle man, uh, Vermic Laser is a knockout on your Quellfish because you only have 80 HP. But guys, there you go. There's the Quellfish deck. I'm so excited to see will this deck work or not. But guys, let's see what happens in the next game. Or in the game, not the next game, in the game coming up right now. All right, pretty good DJ Parrish playing a Dark Psychic and a Colors deck. So it might be a Yavatal deck. So call the Queen Flip. Let's see who gets to go first. And can Quellfish take down this Dark deck? We lost the Queen Flip. So we will be going second. Now, some of these Dark decks do play Laser and some don't play Laser. Um, hopefully they're not playing Garboder. Like, <clears throat> it showed that they're playing Psychic. So hopefully that's just Mewtwo or something. But if it's Garboder, that means Counter Attack Wheels would not work. And that's not good for us. All right, there we go. And there's a baby evil talk, okay? Which luckily that could not knock us out in the first turn. So Darker coming down. Um, and if we get that Dragology online, we can make it where our opponent can't retreat, which is really good for us. So Darker needs to be active, okay? Alrighty, and let's see what will our opponent do. Hopefully, we talk okay. There's very so obviously they're playing um lasers. Like why else would they put down a, a very big seated gem? So Ultra Ball, discard the Dark Patch and a Sound Lab. Probably getting out Shaman, I imagine. Oh, a Hoopa. Hoopa's even better. Gonna Scout Drinks for three EX Pokemon. And let's see, what does our opponent decide to get out with the Scout Ring? So, show me the money, Hoopa. All right, what will the Hoopa get my opponent? There's a Yvitol, Yvitol, and a Shea Bay coming onto the field. And can my opponent... Man, this is so... Oh, man. Now, what we could do is license the Hoopa and poison sting with the dragology out that could be really nice and knock it out that way and make it where they can't retreat a uh, hypnotic laser <gasps> all right tells all right whatever so luckily uh poison hit us for 30 back to their turn so i'm i'm gonna grasp into this quellfish like that's probably the best way right now and put a bur uh do we put down burst point i don't think we're going to so must man on this eve it's all okay and I think we're just going to grass and just Quellfish and just pass if we don't top deck an in. So let's see, what do we find? Oh, to our turn, we get a Hypnotoxic Laser. Okay, so I'm going to Laser. Try to damage that even all some. All right, so there's Tails. Um, yeah, let's just burst moving the active grass energy this guy, and we'll end our turn. Oh, to our opponent, so our poison will hit for 30. All right, we can hit for 30 as well. Oh man, all they can do though is just pass and then knock us out. Ooh, that could be bad. Maybe we should attach that burst balloon, but whatever, guys, we got this. So, dark energy, the evil tall, okay. Um, but if we get that Rizzing out, we can make it where Quellfish cannot be poisoned, and the baby evil tall cannot knock us out anymore, which is great. Uh, so probably just my opponent not attack us. Like, that's probably the smart thing to do. Sycamore, discard their hand, draw on seven new cards, discard a Lysander, and a VS Seeker, okay. And a Bath Press as well. They could they could have just played that. Uh, Fighting for on the evil tall, alrighty. And we'll probably see, okay, train as well. Look at soft cards of their deck. Now I'm going to super rod something that Quellfish, Juniper, discard our hand, draw 70 cards, and hopefully find a Grass Energy and a Verizian. And like I said, that makes it where Evil Talk can not knock us out. But this Evil Talk can easily knock us out, which is not good for us. Uh, so must be coming down for my opponent. Maybe put on the Dark Rye. Uh, maybe just holding on to it. Maybe the Shaman. So Sky Turn can do 50. That doesn't seem good. So must be going down to the Dark Rye and a pass. Ultra opponent's turn. On to our turn. They will not get hit with that Burst Balloon. And. <gasps> Oh, no. All right, whatever, whatever. So we get knocked out. Opponent goes out of five prize cards. We'll set up Quellfish. And on our turn, what do we find? There's an Ultra Ball. So we're going to Super Rod, shuffle in the uh, Quellfish. And we're just going to Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. And hopefully, we find a Pokemon. No, we could Ultra Ball for Shaman. And there's a Skrelp. So put that down. We will... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's so bad. All right, so Burst Ball in the active. Um, yo, yeah, we'll Burst Ball in the active. And we'll just end our turn on to our opponent's turn. All right, so 30. 
Okay, so things are looking bad for us. So our opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. Uh, they attack us, they quell flesh, will knock out this evil tall. There's a hypnotoxic laser. All right, okay, so tells. So that's their sub sub hypnotoxic laser as well. So they have two left, which is great to note. Um, so maybe we don't need Verizon anymore. So Dark Angel going to that guy, okay. Um, but our turn, we get Echo Arm, Special Charge. Hopefully we tell like a Quellfish and just switch into it, or at least something. Uh, my opponent will go down four prize cards, though. Yeah, so Sycamore going to discard the hand, draw 70 cards, discard the dark and a dark patch, okay. Gets his as well. They have 90 cards. What if my opponent decks out before they win? That could be pretty crazy. Uh, how many VS Seekers are down? Just one VS Seeker, one Lysander. Oh, two Lysanders. So they have three VS Seekers left, okay. Silk Compressor, go ahead and discard a dark and a dark. All right. And we'll probably see a blue wing for 30, but they get knocked out if this happens. So both, he'll go down to four, or he'll go down to four, we go down to five. All right, guys. And maybe Shaman will make the play of the game. Revenge Boss Shaman might come in clutch. Who knows? All right. So, like I said, we can Echo Arm, get back both Burst Balloons. We can Special Charge, get back this. Oh, there's actually no DC, so we can't Special Charge our a special, special charge at all. I, I could have talked there for a second. Uh, but let's see, what would my opponent do? Will they attack? Will they just pass? Um, if they... Okay, so Scramble Switch into that guy. Okay. And do they retreat and attack with this guy? Okay, I'm going to put the energy on there. Are they really going to Evil Ball us for a knockout? That'd be crazy, right? Because they hit for 80. Do they really want to do that? Do they really want to hit us for 80? And Oh, they'll go White Cyclone. But still, they get hit for that 80 damage. Okay, that's great for us. All right, so I'm going to move the Dark uh, dark Energy, Burst Balloon, everything else. He has uh, 90 HP left, and we can actually can knock out, come back, and Archer. So they're going to scrap an ult to our turn. What do we get? There's a life do, okay? Um, so we're going to Echo Arm. Yeah, we're going to Echo Arm. Shuffling two Burst Balloons. We will life do the active and we'll via Sigur for Sycamore, draw a new hand of seven, or Juniper, draw a new hand of seven. We need to find another Pokemon and we'll just lose this game. And we found, okay, we found multiple. So put down uh, uh, this guy. Well, Ult Ball. Oh, no, I don't want to discard Vinge Blast Shaman. All right, so we're not going to discard Vinge Blast Shaman. We're going to discard those two. We'll grab, um, we'll grab a Shaman. Come to me, Shaman. Okay. We'll put down another Shaman. We will, do we DCE or do we go for the Quellfish? <sighs> Buddy. All right, so we're going with the Shaman. We're going to set it for four new cards. Hopefully we get Quellfish, Switch, or Gralgy. All right, or none of those. Oh, we, we got Quellfish at least, and we'll Love Ball for another Quellfish, okay? So we'll put both these guys down. We will, do we just commit a Grass Energy on this guy? Get ready for the, the Revenge Blast? That could be spicy. Um, man. Uh, or do we go for a giant X ball? No, I think we're gonna put a grass into this guy. Get ready for the Venge Blast. It will end our turn. Out to our opponent's turn. All right. So on my opponent's turn, do they have a license to get around the Scrub? And if they do, they'll probably bring up the Shaman and knock out a Shebe. Oh God! But if they do that, that might be okay because what we can do is teammates for a Dragalge and a Bursting. No, just a Dragalge. And we already have a DCE, so we'll teammates for a Dragalge and something else, maybe a. Like, Burst Balloon doesn't really matter too much, because we're not going to regardless. So, DC on that guy. No, actually, we'll need the Burst Balloon, because 3, 6, 7, 8. Uh, so, VS Seeker for the Lysander, going to bring up the Shaman, take a knockout. I imagine they'll bring up this one, because that one has a Grass Energy. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're actually not taking a knockout right now. That could be bad for my opponent, right? And that's Yeah, that could be bad. It's a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, that's not enough for a knockout. They actually attach energy. This guy, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, one, two, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. There's a life center. Going to bring up the, the Quellfish. Oh, my goodness. They did not knock out a Shaman. So, Evil Ball will do 80. I'll get hit for the counterattack. So, up to 120. All right. So, I'm going to send up the Mewtwo. Do we send up the Mewtwo? Or not. Okay, so 70 HP left. We can hit it for 50, which is not enough for a knockout. But we keep it stuck in the axe spot. Or we can send a Mewtwo for the knockout. So I'm going to send a Mewtwo. I'm going to send a Mewtwo. On to our turn. We get a uh, Juniper. So we're going to teammates. With teammates, we will get a laser. And a quick... Uh, wait, hold on. 20, 40, 60, 80. So that's enough for a knockout. So we're not going to get those. We're actually going to get a bursting balloon. Okay. And an N. We're gonna grab those two cards. 
All right, we'll put a DC in the active, burst mode in the active, and we will X ball for the knockout. There we go. All right, so 80 damage that way. We'll go down to four, four price cards. We get one and two. And let's see, my opponent's already played. So they've played two Via Seekers, two Life Standards. Okay. And let's see what my opponent does. Send him to Evil Tall. I'll our opponent's turn. Okay. Now, if they, I don't think they can take a knockout here. They're pretty impressive if they do. So Evil Tall coming down. And what we could do. So let's grab a discard, burst one, and the life do. Um, but what we can do is DC this guy uh, and play it in a bursty balloon. And we can send this guy up and hit it and make it. Oh, we got to get Dragalja as well. So DC to the active, okay? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 140, 150, which is not enough for a knockout just yet. Okay. Oh, man, guys. Can we take this game or not? That's the big question. Right now, okay, so Hex Mania gonna shut down abilities to the end of our turn, okay? So there's the Evil Ball, not, okay, wait, hold on, I did the math wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so there we go, so that's bad. All right, so we're sitting this guy. On our turn, what we're gonna do is we're going to put down Quellfish, Bursty Balloon, DCE, and Juniper, we're looking for, oh my goodness, we're looking for a laser. And we got the laser, all right, so we can laser, Poison our opponent, and we can use Revenge Blast for the knockout. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to Revenge Blast for the knockout. Booyah! All right, 180, and then the Poison will knock it out. Oh my goodness, Revenge Blast Shaman is doing work right now, guys. I am so excited. So heads, whatever wakes up, it gets knocked out. Oh my goodness, guys. Do we have this or not? We'll go down to two price cards, and what can my opponent do? All right, they can have a Laser and a Life Standard and a Dark Energy to knock out a Quellfish. That's their play right now. They need that combination of out of those five cards. So I'm not sure they're going to send up this Evital. Okay. Alright guys, can we do it or not? There's a Dark Energy active. Okay. Alright, so what will our opponent do? If we try to make a license and we win the game, we can bring up Shaman, and Shaman can take a knockout on its own Shaman. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm so I'm so excited right now. Okay, so hold on. We, we gotta we gotta we gotta see if we can do this though. We gotta see if we got this. Uh there's a course gonna show off the hand deck, get eight cards so they cannot win this turn. Alright, guys. Do we hit a license or not? Oh my goodness, if we hit a license, we will win this game. Okay, but if we don't, we are in trouble. Uh what I might do is if we so I'm gonna okay, so hypnotic laser, don't care about too much, whatever. Um to heads, okay, don't care about that. Alright. So they're gonna take a, they're gonna take okay, dark patch onto the dark eye, okay. Alright. Is that their last laser? Three lasers. They have one left. Okay. So train as well, look at top cards of their deck. They're gonna hit for 60. And then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, K, okay, okay. All right. Okay, guys, I think we got this. I don't know. I don't know if we got this, but I believe in us. All right, we got it. If we top the license, we, we win the game. So, Blue Wing for 30. Uh, he gets hit for the 60. We get attached to Dark Energy to the Evitol. All right, guys. So, let's see. Do we top the license or not? We have a switch in hand. Poison, whatever. I don't care if we wake up or not. Heads, we do wake up. O2 Archer, do we get Lysander or not? And oh, it's a VS Seeker, but there's no Lysander in the discard pile. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a DC on Shaman. We are going to switch into Shaman. We're going to play a Hypnotoxic Laser. All right, and what we're going to do is Shaman. All right, so heads, it goes Night Night. We're going to Shaman. Set up for one card. Can we find the license or not to win the game? Shaman, set up for one. Come on, Shaman, and oh, it's an Ultra Ball. No, that's not what we need. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball, and what we can do is discard a Burbank City Gem and a Grass Energy. Okay. We'll grab a Dragology, and now he can't retreat, so we'll grab Dragology. We'll put that guy down, and we are going to end and give our opponent one card while we get two, but we have Shaman for Sky Return or for Setup next turn. So there's a Grass and a Dragology. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Sky Turn for 30. Well, he's going to hit it for 60. He would not get knocked out. Okay, so that's great to know. So, send him Shaman. He does not get knocked out. And he can't retreat either. Oh, my goodness, guys. So, tells it stays asleep. Can we take a knockout? I still want to Revenge Blast to Shaman for 180 damage. So, let's see what's going to happen, guys. And I think we win the game regardless. Hopefully, our opponent lets his player, player out of turn. The opponent can't do anything unless they play another Switch or another Scramble Switch. They've already played the Scramble Switch. Oh, my goodness. Revenge Blast Shaman is going to take... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm so excited, guys. We won this game with this Quellfish, Shaman, Mewtwo, Wombo Combo, Dragology deck. There's a Poison hit my opponent and tells he does not. He gets knocked out. We'll go down to one prize card. And guys, we're letting Shaman, my favorite, one of my favorite attackers ever made. He's supposed to take the game. So here comes Darkrai. On to our turn. What we can do is put a Crash into the active. We can retreat into the Shaman and we can Revenge Blast 
for the knockout dude 180 damage there we go guys oh my goodness the quillfish shaman deck worked i'm so excited but guys we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second and hopefully win another game quillfish didn't shine too much um youtube did kind of do a lot of work but man I'm pretty sure that Shaman X Blast, uh, Shaman Revenge Blast is the MVP, and it is. Oh my goodness, who would have thought we'd see Shaman be an MVP? I haven't seen that in such a long time, but guys, we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second, and hopefully it's another great game. Alright, printing is Ken 0 playing a Grass Psychic and a Lightning Deck. What different Lightning Deck? So let's see what's going to happen. I like that little face in the middle. Alright, so heads. Uh, we won the Quake of Great. So yes, I would love to go first. And let's see, what is our opponent playing? Is it Night March? Like, that's what I'm thinking. Alright, so we'll press, we'll get a Mulligan. Alright. And, uh, let's see. Gonna put a Pokemon down. And let's see what's going to happen. Can we get another victory or not with the Quellfish deck? We'll press done. Going to shuffle hand back to the deck. Get seven new cards. There he is. There's our champ right there. I right, put Quellfish down. Put Quellfish down. And let's see. what we got double champion right now. That's amazing. So let's see. What is our opponent playing? A lightning... Uh, wait, lightning grass something else? I'm not sure. There's an unknown. All right, so put down Skrull. Well, Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Okay. And with this, oh man, who we get out? We can get out Verizian, we can get out another Quellfish, we can get out Mewtwo. Um, I'm gonna get out Mewtwo right now. That seems like a good attacker. So grab Mewtwo, put down Mewtwo, we'll put down Burbank City Gym, and we'll sh uh, Juniper discard our head, draw 70 cards, and we're looking for a. Oh, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, so put a Grass Unit to this guy. A uh, level for another Quellfish. Um, we're just gonna pass right now. I really don't want to put down a burst balloon because we don't know what our opponent's playing. So we'll put that guy down, and we'll end our turn. Ultra our opponent's turn. But next time we have a Dragology, we can switch to Quellfish, attack with that guy, and end burst balloon. We're, we have a really good turn too. We just gotta see what is our opponent playing. All we know is a Grass, Lightning, and Psychic or something. It's definitely not Night March. What am I talking about? It's Grass. Like, what Grass attacker is a Night March? I, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, but what would my opponent do? There's a pumpkin. Okay. Is it Night March? Was that right? Was that right? What? Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll find out here in a second. There's a trade as well. I'm going to talk. Okay. Man, if it's a Night March, we should have put a Burst Blow in the active. Because that means if he hits us, he gets hit for a knockout. Alright, whatever. Uh, train as well. Look at top cards. Other. Oh, man, if it is Night March, we should have put down Mewtwo. So, Train as well for Skyla. Okay. And let's see. What does that Skyla get my opponent? Now, regardless, I think I'm going to switch into Quellfish either way. Or maybe not. Like, I, don't, I don't know what I want to do right now. We just got to see what Ken does here. What does Ken 0, zero have for us? Did he have the advantage as well? Not sure. I don't I don't recall right now. Um, okay, Battle Compressor. Does he discard Lampus? If he discard Lampus, he's playing Night March. All right, there's Triple. Okay, yep, it's a Night March deck. All right, guys. How? Okay, so Night March. I, I'm actually feeling okay. So Skyla, I'm going to search a deck for any card. Uh, maybe an Ultra Ball to get out of Shaman. I don't know. I can't remember what they're playing. So Skyla for Sycamore, okay. And just a pass. So Slacky to the Pumpkin Wheel as well, okay. And a pass on to our turn. I'll allow it. So this is Dragology. We'll put down Dragology. We'll put a Burst Bloom on the active. And we'll just go for an end. Both of us get six new cards. Let's see what can we find. Alright, that's not what I want to see. Alright, so we can Ultra Ball, discard Verizian and the Zerosic. We'll grab nothing. We'll play Shaman Setup. Okay. And let's see. Can we find a DC or not? Maybe a Grass Energy for this guy. There's a DC. So I'm going to put a DC in the active. And I'm going to go for the Poison Sting. It will not knock it out. We'll be short uh, of 10 damage. But that unknown cannot retreat, which is great for us. All right. So there we go. Oh, it's our opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. And can we beat this Night March deck? I mean, maybe. Like, I'm... I don't know. It depends on what they're playing as well. Like, we saw a Skyla for Juniper, and I've never seen a Night March deck play Skyla. We could be seeing an interesting Night March deck. Maybe with uh, Gorgeist and Shrine of Memories. Alright, so Compressor, go ahead and discard three cards out of the deck, and let's see what do they decide to discard with this Compressor. Oh, man. So, a uh, Joltic, Pumpku, and a Lampet. Alright, so it's definitely, like, it's definitely a Night March deck. Like, Hands down a Night March deck. We, we've confirmed that. Like, with the Lampets, we're like, ah, oh, maybe it's a Night March deck. But no, it is definitely a Night March deck. So, Acrobite, discard teammates. Okay. And let's see what else does my opponent have. Do they have Shamans? I, I don't know if I saw colors or not. That's the main thing. I see Unknown, so I don't think they're playing Shaman. Or if they do, they're playing low counts. All right? Uh, but this Unknown is going to get knocked out. Come back into our turn. Oh, man. If we get a DC, we actually can knock out Pumpkin. It's a 20, 40, 60. 
Oh, baby. All right. So, there's a train as well. Going to look at top of cards of their deck. Okay. There's another Acrobike. All right. And let's see. What does the Acrobike get, my opponent? Oh, baby. All right. Can they find a switch? There's an Acrobike. But they find a switch. The counterattack will with the Burst will knock it out. There's a Fighting Pro going to the Pump Crew. DC going down to it as well. And we'll see my opponent probably just pass. Unless they have a Sporter card. Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from their hand. And let's see. What do they get out? Will we see a Shaman or not? It's my big question. And a Combi. So, it's a Vest Queen a Night March deck. So, Combi coming down. All right. And what's in their hand? Is that a Juniper or not? Are they, uh, they already played a Sporter card. I don't think they have. I don't think they played a Sporter card yet. So, they could have another Sporter card in their hand. Um, And let's just wait and see what's going to happen. We know they have Combi as one of the cards. There's Combi coming down. Okay. And there's a Sycamore. High five opponent. There we go. All right. So discard their hand. Draw seven new cards. All right. And uh, there's a... Okay. Still we knock out the unknown, which is great. Another unknown coming down. All right. All right. So Feral Letter. Go discard the unknown. Draw a new card. Okay. All right, guys. Can we take down this Nightmarch deck or not is my big question. All right. So <clears throat> what we're going to do next turn is... Burst Moon the active, put a Grass Energy here, go for Poison Sting for 20, Poison 30, and he's actually going to go for the Feral Letter. Oh my goodness, I mean, he's going to attack us. That's so amazing. All right, so hit us for 10, whatever. I'll uh, we'll take a Price Guard. Uh, there's a Grass Energy going in our hand. And who are we send up? If he's in this guy, he actually gets... Oh uh, no, we have to get a... Okay, there's a Juniper. So Burst Moon the active, Grass Energy here. Hypnotoxic laser. Okay. If we find a Verbic City if we find a Verbic City Gym, we can actually knock out the active. So we'll play Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Can we find a Verbic City Gym? Or not and no, we don't get it. Alright, so we'll go for the poison thing. It will not knock out our opponent. Okay. There we go. 20 damage. We missed the Verbic City Gym. Oh my goodness. Now does my opponent have a Vest Queen? If they have a Vest Queen, they can retreat. But if they don't, they can't retreat, actually, which is great. Um all right, guys, can we do this or not is my question. Now, here's the... Here, all right, there's Vest Queen coming down. All right. Um, We might see Retreat to Pumpkin. There's a Jolted coming down, which we can, lice, we can actually, like, Sky Return for a knockout. There's a DCE, okay? And there's a B Revenge for a knockout, but... Since he did this, he's going to get knocked out as well because 20 and 60, he should not He should attack a Pumpkin. That would have been the smarter play. So, we got out of four prize cards. There's an N, okay? And who does my opponent send up? He actually has to send it first because this Pokemon got knocked out first. Does he send it the Joltik? No, Public Group coming up. All right, so we can send a Mewtwo and take a knockout. That's what we're going to do. We're going to send a Mewtwo. All right, onto our turn. We get a laser. So we'll put it 20, 40. Yeah, we'll put a DC in the active. We'll play an in. Okay. And we're looking for a Bursting Balloon. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I know we get four cards, but whatever. Let's see, what do we get? All right, so special charge, DC, whatever. Okay, so we'll X-Ball for the knockout. Okay, so X-Ball, knocking out a Pumpkaboo. And if he attacks with his Joltik next turn, we can scour to that Joltik for knockout and promote a Quellfish. All right, guys, so we got down three prize cards. He's down two DCs as well. And he's down this special charge, down one special charge, and down a Puzzle Time as well. All right, so Joltik coming up. And like I said, what we could do is... DCE, the Shaman, Sky Return for the Knockout, Send of a Quellfish, so that way we'll be good to go. There's an unknown coming down, Okie Dokie. Uh, Battle Crusher, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7. He's doing 140 right now, which is not enough for Knockout. Uh, but he discards some more, so 4, 5, 6, 79. So that will be a Knockout if he does get a DCE. So Feral Letter, going to discard the unknown, draw a new card. Does he have a card to put down or not? If he doesn't, he can lose this game. Uh, Pumpkin Boo coming down, okay. Alright, there's a fighting pill. Uh, go on to the Joltik. No, my plan is bamboozled now. Alright, so Sycamore, go and discard the hand, draw seven new cards. Alright, guys, so next turn we need to find a laser and a Verbic City gym. If we find both of those, we can knock out this Joltik with a Sky Return. Alright, guys, so let's see. There's a DC going to the active. Okay. There's a Night March for the knockout. My opponent going out of three prize cards, so we're tied 3 to 3 on prize cards. But we will Sky Return the Shaman, put it back at your hands. So my opponent cannot take a knock on it. So let's go Shaman. On to our turn. Do we get Laser, Burbank, and a Burst of Balloon? Uh, there's a Switch. We'll special, do we need Special Charge? Um, no, yeah, we need Special Charge. We'll put two DCs back to our decks. So one, two. We'll put a DC on Shaman. And we are going to Juniper, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. We need to hit this. So let's see, do we find it or not? There's a laser. No, we don't have it straight away. All right, so we get the laser. Let's see, does Joltik stay asleep or not? All right, in heads, it does go to sleep. And what I'm going to do is put a, a life deal on this guy. And I'm actually going to Sky Return for 30. All right, so there we go. We'll send it the Quellfish. 
And now if he does attack us, he um, does take a price card. So Hansi does wake up. All right. Okay, so another opponent's turn. Oh, I'm so scared, guys. I'm so scared. All right. All right, guys. We got this. Now, if he attacks a Quelfish, he will get knocked out. He'll go down to two price cards. Okay. Oh, man. Will this life do help us out or not is my question. So, it's like you're going to pump me. Okay. Does he have a life center or not? How many VS Seekers has he played? No VS Seekers has not played. And no life center as well. Oh, my goodness. That's so scary. All right, guys. But can we do... We need a Super Rod as well. We need Super Rod to get back our Quelfishes. Um... That's the thing. We need our verb. We, we really need our verbic city gym. That's what we're missing out on. If we had the verbic city gym, we would have had the perfect hand, but oh, we didn't have it. Oh my goodness. So there's a via seeker for Skyla. Okay. What is my opponent going to get? That's the question. So, nope, just a night march for the knockout. He'll get hit for that 20 and he'll get knocked out as well, but he will not take a prize card. So we'll set up this guy. Okay. The poison damage. Oh my goodness. Yes. Thank you, Quellfish. You are the MVP right now, guy. All right, so we're going to have two price cards. There is a Ultra Ball. Okay. And I imagine we'll see Pump Blue come to the X spot. All right. So in our turn, what do we get? We get a Lysander. Do we go for this play? All right, swim Love Ball. Grab a Quellfish. All right, guys. We can try to knock out that... All right, hold on. Let's... Okay, we have a Lysander here. So we, go for... we can go for Quellfish. Okay. We'll put down Quellfish. Put a DC on this guy. Burst Balloon this guy. Oh, I really want to go for this play, but it's a really bad play. No, we're Burst Balloon the active, and we're going to Via Seeker forward in. Alright, so we're going to put it down to three. Man, I'm so tempted to Ultra Ball for the license to bring this guy up. If we hit the laser, we can not... Oh my goodness, if we hit the Verbic City Gem, we can take a knockout this turn. Oh, guys, do we go for it or not? Oh, my goodness. Because if we get that, we can bring up the combi, take a knockout, and make it where we night march us, we can knock out the following turn. Oh, he should just have a DC as well, so he can't attack us right now. Oh, my goodness. See, I'm going to end. I'm going to end. That's the best play right now. I think... Oh, my goodness. What do we do, guys? What? Okay, my motto is always risk it to get the biscuit. So today, we're going to Ultra Ball, discard in, and light, and DCE. Okay, we're going to go for it, guys. We're going to do it. It's probably the worst play to make. We have two Burbank City Gems in here. If we do not hit it, I'm going to be so upset. So we're going to Lysander. Bring up this guy. All right. We'll put down Skrump. We'll put down Shaman. Set up for five new cards. Can we find a Burbank City Gem or not? And we need to find another Burst Blue for the Shaman. No, we don't get it. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to Burst Blue Shaman. We're going to play a Laser. Oh, my goodness, guys. We whiffed it. Oh, we whiffed it. We whiffed the Burbank. All right. So Tells. Uh, we'll go for Poison Thing, which will not knock it out. Oh, my goodness, guys. We missed it. Oh, it's all bad, guys. All right, so whatever. But hopefully, he how many Vest Queens are in here? Two Vest Queens are in here. Okay, so he's going to draw a card. Okay. We know he has a Skyland hand. Hopefully, he does not have a Vest Queen. If he does not have a Vest Queen, Comey will get knocked out, and we might be okay. There's a Skyland. Let's see. What does our opponent get with the Skyland? It's a puzzle time. He can double puzzle right now. And with a double puzzle. Oh, my goodness. That's so scary. All right, so a switch. To, oh my goodness, switch to pump crew. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Things have gone bad now. They have gotten terrible for us. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, no. If he attacks his pump crew, okay. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I gotta think about this. Cause now he can't license or shame it. Cause he, if he, he does a psychic. Okay, dimension value. That's fine. So double puzzle. Okay. What does he get here? He can get Lysander and a Fighting... That's what he needs. Lysander and Fighting Field. That's two cards he needs right now. All right, let's see. Does he get those two cards? Now, if he does that, we are in trouble. But he goes down to... Okay, a Compressor and Fighting Field. I'm actually okay with this. He can Fighting Field this guy. Whatever. Compressor, discard his deck. Okay. But he's going to... Does he have a Lysander's hand? Does he have Lysander's hand or not? That's my question. If he has a Lysander... No, Lysander's discard pal. He's Skyland. He's okay, guys. He's Skyland. We're okay. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we got this, guys. So via seeker, or a life center, but that does not matter because he's already played Skyland. So what we can do is send up Shaman, put down Dragology, Sky return to Quellfish, hit the pump for knockout. And we're looking for another burst balloon. So there's a night march for the knockout. Okay. All right, guys. So 210 damage. There's 20. There's a 60, and that night march will that pump will barely hang on. Right, oh my goodness, guys. Hold on. We got the game, guys. We have the win. So what we're going to do is put up Quellfish. I forgot about this. So in our turn, 
What we're going to do is we're going to via Seeker. For a Zerosic, we are going to Zerosic off that Fighting Fubel to knock out that Pump Boo. Oh my goodness. And the Poison Sting to knock out the Combi. It will win the game against the Night March deck. Oh my goodness, guys. That was amazing. So here comes Combi. We'll Poison Sting for the knockout. And there's a victory Screen Report. can see it in the game. And we had it. Oh my goodness. I just remember playing Zerosic in the deck. And there you go, guys. There is the Quellfish deck. Oh my goodness. Maybe this is our new. Maybe this is the best deck of format. Maybe Quellfish is the BDIF or Expanded. Maybe, guys. But, oh, my goodness, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode of Fan Friday. It was a lot of fun to play. Let's look at our, our opponent's deck. Play 33 best. I got the hiccups now, guys. I'm so excited. I got the hiccups. But, guys, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the episode of Fan Friday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're so excited to see Quellfish. We took down two, two really good decks. Oh, my goodness, guys. I'm so excited. But, hopefully, you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.